What's up YouTube? Back with another RetroArch video, but this time for a different platform, the Xbox One. When I was dusting the other day, I realized that I'd never really use my Xbox anymore. I tried the RetroArch to death build when it was first released, but never really came back to it. Not being able to play retail games and needing to switch between dev modes and retail mode kind of killed the experience for me. But since I'm not playing any retail games at the moment, I figured maybe I would just leave it in dev mode this time. Well, apparently Microsoft had killed my dev account at some point, so I had to sign up again for $20. And then immediately afterward, I noticed that someone had posted on GBA Temp about Microsoft closing developer accounts that had not published titles within 90 days. So great. I'd be spending hours setting this thing up again only to have it bricked at some point. And then I stumbled upon this. RetroArch on a retail Xbox One. I don't know who made it, I don't know how or why it works, but it works, and it works really well all things considered. I'll briefly go over the installation, configuration, and setup, and then I'll show you a bunch of games running with various cores so you can get an idea of how things look. I'll also be setting up bezels using modified bezel project configuration files, which I've linked in the description below. To install RetroArch, load up the Edge browser on your Xbox One. Then go to the URL shown on the screen. Scroll down to the app you want to install and hit the download app link. A store link will pop up where you can select Get to install. I'll install one of the homebrew games and another Metroid 2 reboot to show you the process. Yeah, it's that simple. So I'm not going to reinstall RetroArch because I already have things configured, but it's exactly the same. Once you have RetroArch installed, load it up and browse to the online update menu, and update everything. Exit and then restart RetroArch. Next, browse to the input menu and head down to hotkeys. Within this menu, select menu toggle controller combo, and select a combination for the quick menu. Do something comfortable because you're going to be using it a lot. Browse down to the on-screen display menu and enable display overlay if you want to set up overlays and bezels. I like to set the overlay opacity to something like 0.7 so they're not so bright compared to the screen. In the user interface menu you can configure how thumbnails will be displayed and do some basic UI tweaks. This is a fully functional build of RetroArch so retro achievements are available if you enable the option and put in your login information. I keep a lot of my RetroArch files on my USB hard drive, which gets mounted as D on the Xbox One. I've copied my RetroArch system directory there, but you may prefer to keep it on your Xbox system. Similarly, I keep wallpapers and thumbnails on my USB drive as well. If you're configuring bezels using the configuration files linked in the description, set the config directory to D colon slash config, and the overlay directory to D colon slash overlay. I've been using these bezels at 1080p and these settings seem to work alright. Head over to the video options and select scaling. Set the aspect ratio to config and a custom aspect ratio of 1.33. Then exit the menu and save your configuration. Exit RetroArch and reload. This build of RetroArch has shader support built in and a huge list of shaders to choose from if you like the look of them. To enable shaders for a game, load it up and then open up the quick menu. Scroll down and select shaders, and then toggle video shaders to on. Then scroll down to load and browse for your shader. Once you select it, it'll be applied automatically. If you want that shader applied to all games running on the chosen core, you can save a core or global preset in the save submenu of the shader menu. If you're missing any thumbnails for a game, you can enable the thumbnail downloader in settings, and then select download thumbnails from the game launch submenu. A lot of arcade titles are set up to not play sounds when in attract mode. This build of RetroArch has the start key set up as the diagnostic mode key for Final Burn Neo, so it's easy to change. 
Generally hold down the start menu until the test menu of your game launches, and then tweak any settings you want. Hold it down again to exit. If you're using overlays and the wrong one is automatically loaded, it's simple enough to change. Open up the quick menu and browse through the overlays. Open up the overlay preset selection and find the correct overlay. File name of the overlay should match the ROM name. Once the correct overlay is selected, save a game override. That should be enough to get you up and going with RetroArch on the Xbox One. Be sure to check out the guides linked on the install page as well. Stick around for a whole bunch of game captures to get an idea of the out-of-box performance on a base Xbox One system, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up to feed the algorithm, and thanks for watching. Okie dokie. Kill your enemy by enemy. Gun, gun. Come on over, 
have some fun with Crazy Taxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gonna have some fun. Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here we go. Look at the funk. Could you stop playing with that radio, Lord? I'm trying to get to sleep. Could you stop playing with that radio, Lord? I'm trying to get to sleep. Could you stop? Could you stop? I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to. I'm trying
What? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Mom's in the kitchen, and if you bug me, I'll call her. Look, I just... Do you know me? Wish I didn't, because then you wouldn't be my brother, and I'd have your room, and all the presents at Christmas. Though I will soon enough anyway, because you're a lousy rat. You're my brother? No, duh. Listen, I don't mean to, uh, bug you, but I can't seem t to remember anything. Will you please just tell me who you are? Mom, Steve is bugging me. Steve, leave Hank alone right now. 